going on YouTube? Welcome to the Trumpet Dungeon at Donald's Trumpet's Vintage Horns. Welcome to my channel. You might say Donald's Trumpet's, hmm. I don't know if I like this guy, but no, I'm telling you, it's a lot less nefarious than that. My dad, Donald, when he passed, God rest his soul, left me a lot of really cool vintage horns. So hence, Donald's Trumpets. Don't hate me, just subscribe. So if you like vintage horns though, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna be going through my dad's collection, showing off uh, one horn at a time as they're either listed or slowly sold to the marketplace. And today we are gonna look at something really cool, definitely a unique find in the collection. And this is a Martin Custom Trumpet. You might notice that the bell looks a little bit uh, extended there. Well, wait, but this first, uh, this main tuning slide also is shorter than the third. Ah, it's a key of C custom trumpet by Martin. Pretty cool horn, I gotta say. Um, even just some of the little little features right here, like this this little thumb ring right there. It's got the fixed slide ring right here, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't really like the slide sitting right there a lot of times, but you know, whatever. Uh, this is in the 215,000 serial number range, and it's got the star over the over the serial number. I I can't remember if that means large bore or small bore or nothing because I know they have changed uh, over the years with some of their designations. But I thought I'd read this to you. <clears throat> um, this is just some information that I grabbed off the web, uh, brassinstrumentworkshop.com. So this is a super rare Martin Custom C trumpet. Unknown caller. As I get a call. Uh, let's see here. So the serial number here, obviously not in the article. This dates to 1962. And this is a couple years after the company RMC took over. So the Martin Custom Series is built in a combination of the committee and the magna and in keys of C and D in addition to their normal B flat trumpet line. And I will be uh, showcasing the B flat trumpet as well sometime in the future. Um, the C trumpet was designed, and this is cool, it was designed for Boston Symphony, Symphony Orchestra principal Armando Guitala. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. So this is among the same line. So this is cool. This person right here never saw one of these for sale before, and I doubt you will either. This is probably the, the first time that one of these has come around. They describe the horn as brilliant yet warm, resonant, and intonation is great. So, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out on this one. Um, if you've seen any of my videos, uh, I've been playing Chris Bode's version of Frank Sinatra's When I Fall in Love. So we'll give that one a run, and I'll compare this as well on another C trumpet. I'll be using the... Benj, uh, this is Burbank, California. Oh, you can tell this one feels a lot lighter than the Martin does. But we'll give it a shot to see how that one goes too. I don't think it's gonna be fair. I feel like it needs a little valve oil, but let's get to it. Let's jump into this. And look at that, it's got that kind of rose gold copper bell. Obviously has lacquer wear from over the years. I seems like Martin trumpets in, in particular have a certain wear to their lacquer pattern. I don't know if just their process that they use. So. Copper looking bell comes in, got some nickel, silver, uh, traditional Martin valve block. And then got a little bit of the little design in the, in the finger ring there. I'll be playing on a Mount Vernon 7C mouthpiece. Uh, so just run of the mill size. Uh, good mouthpiece though, so let's do it. been playing for about five and a half months now so uh, you'll have to bear with the playing itself but my first impression um, C trumpets are a lot harder to play than D or B flat trumpets because it is uh, you know a note higher or a half step higher I had a little bit of trouble at some of the high notes but that's nothing that practicing could not overcome um, but I like it it's got a it's got a pretty warm feeling to it excuse me so that's you know, it's going to take some practice finding where to start. So let's jump 
in. Might as well continue on Autumn Leaves so we don't lose sight of the song so we can keep our ears in track here. All right, so like I said, the valves on this are a little bit slow, so we'll, we'll try. So it sounds a little flat, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this one with, uh, get a little bit of valve oil on there because it's not playing very smooth. I will say though, overall, I like the tone of the Martin better. I definitely do. It's just got a, it does have that Martin feel to it, uh, that kind of buttery, warm sound. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to close this video. No more embarrassing myself. But check it out. It's going to be for uh, for sale on the web. You'll find it. This Martin Custom Trumpet in C. Nice little beauty. Yeah, I back it. It's a great trumpet.